So after visiting the mesmerizing marble mountains, we are heading to Danang city for some lunch. So now we are on the famous Dragon Bridge, which has become a symbol of Danang city. This bridge would be all lit up in the evening, and since we are here on a weekend, we'll also be capturing the Dragon Fire Show. So we have reached the corn market, which is a famous local market in Danang city. Here you will find variety of fruits, flowers, fresh produce, local food, and everything that you can think of. So we had come to this market to try some local street food, but because Tet or the Vietnamese New Year was in a week's time, this market was flooded with locals doing their shopping before the big festival. Of course, there were these small stalls. set up right in the center of the market where you could sit and have some local food but it was too crowded and noisy and language could have been a barrier for ordering food so we decided to check out other popular places in danang city for lunch but to tell you the truth the market looked similar to any market in india before a big festival like diwali or ganesh chaturthi At the end of this narrow alley is the famous restaurant Baduang which serves bansio which is a famous danang speciality. We kept going around in circles to locate this restaurant but finally we are here. So you can see the cook here making bansio which is a rice pancake stuffed with veggies and meat. So bansio translates to sizzling pancake and you can hear the sizzling sound when the batter hits the hot skillet these are the bangsios and there's papaya salad i'm not sure if this is fish sauce you'll check and uh, lots of greens and rice paper this is a rice paper uh This is a rice pancake. I think uh, we saw how they are making. There's shrimps. Uh, there's bean sprouts. So it's not deep fried; it's shallow fried. Whatever you, herbs you like, you can just add. I'm just putting some lettuce and uh, some cucumber and some raw papaya. Okay. So it was a fried dish, and now we have made it healthy with all these veggies. Uh, I think the best way is obviously to eat it with the sauce. So maybe let's try with the sauce. So this is the sauce. We made a proper dip. Hmm. The sauce just makes it taste very good. The sauce is a bit spicy, a bit tangy, and uh, the bangsio itself with the whole uh, rice paper pancake is a bit sweetish. So sweet, salty, and spicy. It tastes very nice. Mm. We are at another famous tourist attraction in uh, Danang, which is Maikei Beach, and we missed the sunset uh, by 10-15 minutes here. But this is actually a sunrise beach, uh, from what I've read, and uh, sunset happens on the other side. So if you see that side, that's looking much prettier. That's the Lady Buddha statue right there, and that's another attraction that you could visit in Danang. We did Marble Mountain, which. Uh, 
I thought was amazing. We loved that place. We are at Mikey Beach and let's see what all uh, we get to discover here. Mikey Beach has a beautiful and long promenade where you could take a walk or else park your vehicle and sit here gazing at the sea. sitting uh, in marina coffee and uh, this is a good spot to watch uh, the dragon show basically that's the dragon bridge it keeps changing colors at night so at 9 pm it uh, emits fire and after that it also splashes uh, people with water so it's a very popular thing to do here in danang to come here and uh, watch the dragon a show at 9 pm so as you can see there are so many people standing at the promenade uh, on the river han and uh, the promenade is very beautiful but with this crowd you won't be able to take videos or take photos of uh, the dragon show if you want to and uh, this is a good spot to sit where you can just order a couple of uh, coffees and uh, sit here uh, waiting for the dragon show to start so this particular bridge uh, was constructed in 2013 and uh, 13 so this year it completes a decade and uh, it's 666 meters long and uh, a very prominent landmark of dana uh, and we'll also show you the uh, dragon show and i'm sure it is going to be amazing So next to Marina Coffee you have the Danang Love Bridge where couples put these love locks on the bridge. And this bridge offers panoramic views of the Han River, the Dragon Bridge and the dazzling skyline of Danang.
वी आर इन दानांग नाइट मार्केट इट इज़ क्लोज टू द ड्रैगन ब्रिज एंड वी आर लुकिंग अराउंड एंड मैनी थिंग्स सो वी गॉट दिस पोक्स क्यू लाइक अ कबाब एंड लुक्स नाइस फॉर ट्राइंग वी जस्ट टुक वन सो इन वियतनाम स्प्रिंग रोल इज ऑल्सो वन ऑफ देयर पॉपुलर डिशेज पॉपुलर स्ट्रीट फूड एंड वी हैवन ट्राइड स्प्रिंग रोल येट यर एंड देर आर मल्टीपल टाइप्स ऑफ स्प्रिंग रोल दैट यू गेट देर आर फ्राइड वंस वंस विथ आर नॉन फ्राइड इन राइस पेपर दिस इज द फ्राइड वन लेट्स ट्राई हाउ इट इज very good nice uh, chunks of pork in there and uh, minced pork and this tasting really nice fresh with the sauce must be a sweet and sour sauce this time right. mm. it is very nice with the sauce This is a lemon grass. Amazing. This is really good. As you can see, it's uh, uh, there's a lot of oil, fat, and uh, good oily fat that you have on top of this. Uh, very juicy. Mm. The sauce just enhances the taste. This I love. And I wasn't expecting much from a small. Uh, kebab but it's very good so for a vegetarian option we have got uh, potato uh, wasabi and coleslaw taco wasabi coleslaw sauce is very good Uh, so we have ordered the uh, oak dumplings uh, steamed and one mixed jelly sweet soup. Let's try the dumpling first. Mm. It's very good again. This minced pork uh, again is very nice, very juicy, and it's steamed so the outer layer is also nice and soft. very fresh meat again so it's very good the sauce is a bit strong it's a uh, it's quite sour different types of jellies in here and there is a uh, fried coconut okay, let's get some jelly in there some coconut trying this for the first time Quite different, I think. Uh, I don't know what is this jelly made of. Black one. It has a very strong taste. These jellies are made out of fruits, so let's see this one. Hmm. And the white jelly is made out of uh, coconut. It's nice, light, interesting. Something uh, that you can try if you are here. Because this is one of the few deserts that we have noticed around. I don't think there are a lot of deserts that uh, Vietnamese people eat. So ending it with a sugar cane juice, all time favorite. So good, so good. Hope you liked our video covering one day itinerary of Da Nang City. Please hit the like button, drop in a comment, share this video with your friends and family, and subscribe to our channel. Until next time, this is Pratamesh signing off.